In this tutorial, I'm going to cover some of the aspects of Chapter 7, Charting. The reason I'm picking this exact um, pie chart to create is because after looking through the assignments, some of you have made some mistakes with this assignment. This is actually Assessment 4 from 267. You're going to type in this data, and then it wants you to merge and center A1 and B1. So I select A1 and B1, click Merge and Center. Then I need to auto fit column B, so I'm going to double click the boundary line between B and C and A and B. Now that I have the data on as I want, I'm going to go ahead and select what I want to chart, A1 through B6. With A1 through B6 selected, I'm going to go to insert and I need to choose a pie chart of my choice. I'm just going to choose a basic pie chart. Notice it automatically embeds onto sheet one, the worksheet I'm working on. The problem with this is it says in the directions to have it on its own sheet. Most of you are copying this and pasting it to sheet two, which is not correct. When it tells you to put it on its own sheet, it wants you from this design tab all the way on the right to choose move chart and choose it as its new sheet. Click OK. Now you can see I have chart one tab down here and sheet one. If I need to go and make a change, I go back to sheet one, make the change, and the change will automatically be made on chart one. Um, it also tells you to have data labels. With, with You always want um, data labels, especially on a pie chart, to see how big each piece is. Typically doesn't matter where you put the percentage. See, I'm just showing you all the different spots. Um, you can have them. The chart title is already there. Um, I can go ahead and go back to the design tab and play with it a little bit, choose a different style if I wanted. Um, of course, the legend is all the way over here on the right. I can go ahead and choose to move my legend if I would like it. I'm going to go ahead and put it at the bottom. Um, I can change the name of the chart. There's just so much you can do within the three tabs. What I probably like most about charting and why I always tell people I think it's the easiest part of the Excel unit is 98% of the things you do to a chart are done within these three tabs. So if you're taking the test and you have to do something to the chart, most likely you're going to find it in these three tabs. You usually don't have to worry about the other tabs. So that makes things just a little bit easier. Um, those of you that actually took your... Um, your chart once it was embedded onto sheet one and copied and pasted it to sheet two, please go ahead and redo that assessment and email it to me. And I will go ahead and change your points once I get the correct inversion. Because you do on the test, half the hands-on part of the test, have to put a chart on its very own sheet. If I get it on sheet two versus on its own sheet, you will lose a lot of points on that test. I guarantee it's going to be more than three which you lost on the assessment. So go ahead and fix your assessment and make sure we don't make that same mistake on the test. If you're having any other questions with Chapter 7 charting, please shoot me an email or give me a call. Glad to help. Have a good day.